War Stories by Brother Joe Cotalesi, narrated by Sister Erin Picciuto. Today's article is a testimony by Brother Joe Cotalesi from the Pine Top Lakeside Branch, Arizona. A brother in his branch pulled him aside and asked, Hey, can you tell me some of your experiences from when you were in Vietnam? This article is a result of that conversation. When I was in Vietnam, our whole battalion was transported to a place that was pronounced Way City. We set up a battalion headquarters in an old Catholic school that was partially destroyed. We put a tarp over the top of an exterior wall and attached it over the gap where the roof was missing to prevent water from getting everyone wet while we slept. It rained that night and water filled the tarp. It pulled on the wall so hard that it collapsed at about 3 a.m. Our first class petty officer had gotten up and started walking around for no reason just before the wall collapsed and crushed his cot. It would have been devastating to have one of our leaders crushed by our thoughtlessness and having situated the tarp that way. And I thank God for his miraculous protection over our petty officer during that ordeal. Another time my platoon came under fire from a 50 cal machine gun and we immediately hit the ground, which was under about a foot of water and we just kept down until the machine gun stopped shooting. I'm not exactly sure why the shooting stopped. While in the water, we had to wipe away the leeches coming toward us. On the way back to the battalion headquarters, I either felt the spirit of repentance or the spirit of fear of my own mortality come over me. I thought that if they had an elder here in Vietnam that I would ask for my baptism. I had to wait till I was back in the States. I heard there was a church camp out in California, so I took leave and went to camp out. I did not ask for my baptism until I was in a meeting while I felt the Spirit of God. Afterward, I went to talk with Brother Joe Malantoni and he encouraged me to follow God's prompting and I was baptized there at Camp Out. I thank God for his calling and have never regretted the decision to follow him. What stories do you know? Is there a testimony that you love that hasn't been recorded yet? We strongly encourage you to write it down. And with permission, We'd love to share it here to boost the faith of our church family. Email any testimonies to gospelblog at thechurchofjesuschrist.org.